Bitcoin has been bouncing since last night. The dollar is melting. The S&P is finally slowing down. Are we going down on the S&P? And gold, as usual, doing nothing. This and much more coming your way. Stay tuned. The podcast is about to begin. Hello guys, today is Tuesday, just one day after the usual and regular uh, recorded video that I usually publish on Mondays, but uh, today it's one day later because yesterday it was impossible for me to record a video, I had a lot of personal stuff going on, but today we are going to look at the charts. Bitcoin has been going up since last night, gold is doing nothing as usual, just crashed below the trend line but now it's trying to recover so just going in between you know very little uh, areas of uh, resistance and support the SMP finally showing uh, signs of slowing down so let's see how that goes and the dollar is again melting a bit so let's go directly to the charts and let's see what is in for today so just very very quickly let's see the price to time model continues inside the square we are a few weeks away from the end of the period so right now we continue to bounce from the 20 period sma on our logarithmic chart so we have been going into the green this week let's see how that continues we also have a curiosity here so if you guys see the RSI of the 2013 cycle, we also bounce from this orange dashed line here, which was the minimum level of the RSI, post 75% correction, mid-cycle 2013, we went above it, and then we got out of the yellow circle, we went above, we formed this peak, then we came back down sideways for a little bit before the last leg up to the top of the cycle. So where are we right now here at the RSI? So we were a bit below the orange dashed line, which means the RSI level was lower than the RSI level of 2013, the post 75% correction. We then bounced back above and beyond the orange dashed line out of the yellow circle. We also peaked, we now corrected, and uh, I hope that we accumulate a bit around here before the final leg up. So this shows how similar the 2021 bull cycle is to the 2013 cycle. So if we continue to accumulate a bit more on the RSI here to sideways and then continue up, this will probably be very, very similar to the cycle of 2013, as I've been saying uh, all along since a long time ago already, practically since I started this channel. But that's it for the price to time model let's take a look at bitcoin and we start with the mri chart as usual here is the weekly chart so we continue to be above the 20 period sma but there are good news already so we are going to see this moving average turning back up and probably just go parallel with the 50 period sma which is the yellow line here so that is a very very bullish sign if we don't cross it to the downside and you guys can see already that the dots are predicting that we will continue up after this small curve here for two more weeks. And the third week after the one we are currently in will be already above the price of the previous two weeks. So that's a very bullish sign because the bars are going to be replaced. We are now around this bar here for the simple moving average. And... In two weeks' time, we will start to replace these bars going down with the bars here going up. So that means the moving average is going to finally starting to turn back up in just three weeks' time. So that's one of the bullish signs. We also have an MRI count um, situation here. So as you guys know, the MRI count goes from 1 to 9, where usually we have a reversal of the price action. And right now, what's happening is we didn't complete the 1 to 9 count here. So we reversed the price action on the 8th candle. 
and we also flipped the count because the MRI closed so sorry the candle closed lower than the previous three candles opening so in this case this is flipped and we started a new count to the downside however if we continue to go up from here and the next two weeks we don't cross above the opening of the red candle we will still continue to have red count so this will be a third count on the red a fourth count on the red and finally the next week if we continue above the opening of the red candle the count will flip again to green and we will start a new count on the number one so that means that if we continue for two more weeks um, below the opening of the red but still going up with green candles we will have a one to four candle correction which means one two three four on the red and then the next week if we cross above this level here we will flip the count to the green and start on the number one again and that is bullish in my book so if we continue to being supported here by the 20 period SMA on the weekly chart I hope that the next two candles don't cross above this and we have a perfect one to four candle correction here from this top and then continuation to the upside showing signs of the first wave of the fifth large wave since the bottom of 2018. So this will be very interesting to see what happens here. We have to wait a few more weeks, but the most important thing here is to continue to have candle closes on the weekly chart above the 20 period SMA. This is crucial. We cannot cross the 20 period SMA to the downside or probably we, if we do, we could leave a week behind being supported again by the 50 period, which next week and two weeks from now will be already very, very close to the 20 period SMA and finally have support on the price action turning back up and reversing this correction here. So that is very, very important. You guys have to focus on that. The next few weeks are going to be crucial. On the RSI, we also have the trend line not even being touched by this correction yet. So that means we still have uh, some space to the downside here. Probably if we continue to the downside, but we are supported by the 20 or the 50 period SMA up there, we will touch the trend line and reverse the price, ac the price action back to the upside. So that is very, very crucial to continue to focus on the weekly, cand uh, weekly candle closes. And let's see how that goes. The MACD continues to be neutral, completely neutral. We are just going sideways. The blue line is parallel to the orange line. The bars are uh, showing a small gap to the downside here. And the color is light green. So that means that the bullish momentum is very, very... Um, let's say it's not so strong right now. So it's losing some strength but uh, the RSI continues to have some space, so we might probably still go down a bit more, leave a week, reverse the price action. That is the best case scenario in my view on the weekly chart. So the best case scenario here is, of course, on the weekly chart, you can see it perfectly. If we break the 20 period SMA to the downside and we close a weekly candle below the 20, or even below the 50, because they will be very, very close in just two weeks, that is the worst case scenario that is very bad so that's why you guys should keep focus on the weekly chart and see where the candles will close so that's it for the weekly chart let's take a peek here at the daily chart and we have been supported by the 50 period sma on the daily chart so we have been making this round bottom here uh, actually i got in uh, i bought another bitcoin just yesterday uh, around here at the tip of this week, uh, around $43,600. I'm now riding that wave again up. Let's see if this continues to the upside on the daily chart. Of course, it's very, very good. And we also flipped the count, as you guys can see here. On the daily chart, we already flipped the count to a green one. So next candle probably will be a green two. And we will face resistance when we get to the 20 period SMA, the green line here on the daily chart. Which, by the way, if we continue to go up, we'll also have this, you know, uh, rounded bottom here, just getting very, very close to the 50 period, but still going parallel without crossing to the downside, which will also be a very, very good bullish case. Here at the RSI, you guys can see the same trend line you saw on the weekly chart. On the daily chart has been supporting the price perfectly. This trend line 
is uh, very, very good. I like it very much. It, ha it has been plotted a long time ago. And every time there is a correction on the daily chart, it has been supporting the price action and turning back up for a reversal of the price action to the upside. So that's good. Here on the, um, on the MACD, we are still bearish. The blue line is below the orange, but you guys can see also on the daily chart, the bear momentum is losing strength. We have already two light red bars and the blue line is already making a rounded bottom here. So we will see probably some upside action, which uh, corroborates what I said on the weekly chart. Let's see how that goes. It's really, really important. And also this new indicator here, the oscillator that I have here is already also turning back to green and pointing up. So it's it has already rounded bottom here and it's now going back up. Let's see how that goes. So that's the daily chart for you. Just a quick peek at the four hour. So we can see the BitMEX funding rate. The BitMEX funding rate continues to be very, very neutral. We have been having for a long time since the big drop here uh, around the 7th of September, we have been having this uh, lower side action on the BitMEX funding rate. We are now probably about to flip it. So let's see how that goes. You guys know already that if this goes too much extended to the upside, it's favoring the bears. So we would not like to see the BitMEX funding rate very extended to the upside in positive territory here. So let's see how that goes. We are now facing on the four hour chart resistance from the 50 period SMA, which has crossed the 100 and 200 SMAs to the downside. But the 20 period SMA is now turning back up and making this round bottom here. So we will probably see some more upside action with smaller corrections along the way. Let's see if we can in the next few hours cross above the 50 period SMA, the yellow line on the chart. So that's it for the MRI uh, strategy. Let's just take a look here at the uh, pro framework, the pro indicators framework. Um, so you guys know already, this was the famous rectangle where I said that the, the retracement would stop. We have been going sideways all along this way here. And I also took the opportunity to buy one more Bitcoin around this area here, exactly at the bottom of this week, which was really, really nice. I also uh, was able to get the exact um, moment where this retraced in this very, very volatile candle you guys see here. This big candle that first went up, then went down in, in, a, in a fury. Uh, this all occurred in just probably one hour candle. Yeah, this is a four hour chart, but this entire candle here occurred in one hour going up and then back down and then going sideways again and now starting to bounce since last night. And we are still facing this resistance around here, trying to beat the same high, uh, the last swing high, which was the volatile candle here on the red. If we have still a bigger retracement than the ones we had already, of course, my lows continue to be the 42,000 here, which is the low for the trend channel. As you guys know, the trend channel is the red zigzag on the top and the green zigzag on the bottom. And the green zigzag on the bottom is exactly around 42,000 right now. So this is for me, the lowest of the lows that we can go uh, in. A, if we have a short term retracement again to the downside before continuing up, this is the lowest of the low that I will um, be expecting, of course, 42,000. Uh, and don't forget, the the support context, the gray box is coming up here, are also in just a few days continue to the upside. So this will continue for a few more days till the close of the week. And then we'll jump a bit more again to the upside and we'll probably be joining the bottom of the trend channel here, the, the green zigzag. Uh, making it even stronger support if we have another retracement to the downside. But guys, I believe that we could be seeing something very, very similar to what we saw when this was the 56% correction. So let me take you guys to the daily chart here. And if you guys see it, we had this big correction from this point to here. And then we uh, accumulated sideways. We had this big drop again, another big drop. And then another sideways action just going down to almost the same levels as the previous drop. So if you look at this, like the correction we had right here, uh, right just a few days ago, and you put it in a smaller scale, you will see that this is very, very similar to this drop 
sideways action, two bottoms here, another bottom, a third bottom here, just after going sideways and um, retracing a bit on the price action, and then the big jump up. So if you increase this, if you zoom in, you have the big drop here, you have sideways action about two thirds down from the top of this candle, then you have the first retracement, the second retracement, and then you might have a third retracement before we start going back up, just like we did from here to this top here. So put it on a smaller scale. And what is happening right now is what happened here. We going up, big retracement, sideways action, third low bottom, and continuation to the upside. I bet, this is my bet, this is what I believe is going to happen. We will have sideways action, probably a bit more retracement before the big jump to the upside. Let's see how that goes. But I like to find these uh, different scale patterns that repeat themselves like um, fractals. Uh, so this looks like just a smaller fractal of what happened here. And I believe that this will be the bottom for this retracement. Around 42,000 uh, will hold the price as this was big resistance there and big resistance here, and then resistance again around these levels three times when we tried to go back up, and finally we broke it, retraced again, and then finally we broke it to the upside. So this area of the 42,000 is a very, very strong support. I believe this will hold the price in case we go back down. So let's take a look at the dollar. The dollar has been retracing this week, uh, still waiting to be an engulfing candle of the green one. However, there is good news. The green candle here closed below the opening of the red, so this green candle did not become an engulfing candle and thus being a bullish sign. So right now, this is a bearish sign because the green candle closed below the opening of the red. And as you guys can see, the following week, we have been going down. Let's see how that goes, but the dollar is retracing again. So that's the dollar, and let's take a look at the S&P. The S&P finally going down. Finally, we I think we achieved a top here, and we might be in for some kind of correction. I just don't know how many percent correction this will be. But finally, the markets are slowing down. And gold. Gold is doing nothing. Just retraced again, just going sideways around this area. So it's basically a snail trying to get back up above this trend line here, but so far not going down again, also supported by the 100 period SMA on the weekly chart. So gold is very, very slow moving. So you guys know, but it's practically going sideways for uh, a four, eight, 10, 12, 13 weeks already. We have been just going sideways. Let's see if gold can get back above the trend line and finally break the 50 period SMA uh, resistance and continuation to the upside. I am still bullish gold. I believe that uh, from today to the end of this year, gold will continue to go up very, very slowly, but at least going up. So the final look here at the bigger outlook for Bitcoin, we continue above the big trend line since the COVID crash. We had support here just before the breakout for this bull cycle. And um, it all continues good. You guys see here that the lines of resistance and support have been being respected. Uh, the 44,000 line, the white line here, has been supporting the price. We had two weeks to the downside. One of them, two of them, I bought Bitcoin, one here, one there. And let's see how that goes. I still believe that the 42,000, this level here, will be the big support that will support Bitcoin. So I don't believe that we are going lower than that. And even if we go to the 42, sorry, this is the 38, I, my mistake, I just messed up with the charts. This is the 43, here is 42, so I still believe that 42 is going to be a very big support. But even if we cross all the way down to 38,000, which is the big support on the green rectangle here, we have the trend line going up. So this trend line has been uh, uh, holding the price since the COVID crash in March 2020, we never went below this trend line. As you guys can see, it touched there, it touched there, but we continue to be above, the price action continues to be above this trend line here, and I expect it to uh, continue that way, always above this trend line, and probably having this retracement here, as I said, and continuation to the upside. 
But in my perspective, I continue to be bullish. This continues to be a bull market unless we have really strong signs that we are not going above this resistance level. Probably only if we cross this trend line to the downside and start to break supports all over the place, then I will probably uh, calm down my bullishness. But for now, in my opinion, we continue to ride a bull market. And this was the first retracement here. Uh, this is what I have for you guys today. Let me go back to my image here. Here on screen, you have the URL for the Telegram group. We have a Telegram group, which is almost 500 people already. I would really enjoy having you there. So if you want to discuss Bitcoin and the markets in general with us, uh, just join the Telegram group using this link here and you will be very, very welcome there. And also, let me just go back here. So the usual, uh, the usual requests, of course, if you enjoy this content, uh, please gently touch the like button, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I record a video or I start a live stream, which usually is on Saturdays, 3 p.m. Portuguese time. So you know this already. And now I will leave you guys with the wise words as usual. All right, let's roll. Hey, let's be careful out there. That's it, guys. Let's roll and be really careful out there in the markets. And I will see you again on the next one. Bye bye.